Cold is a well-known means of preserving food, but it has only been used on a wide scale since the 19th century. Coal plays its most major role in the long-distance transportation of food. This means that consumers have access to products which were not available before, such as fresh fruit and vegetables, dairy products and meat. In the US, the first wagons chilled with natural ice appeared in 1880. Boats fitted with cold storage rooms appeared. Rather than using natural ice, we very quickly looked for a way to create a cold atmosphere artificially. As a result, techniques of artificially making a cold environment developed from the middle of the 19th century. Such techniques use air, water or gas, such as ammonia, to produce cold. Freezing and deep freezing are two preserving techniques using cold to lower the temperatures of food. But what is the difference between these two techniques? Freezing gradually lowers temperature. Water within food is then transformed into large ice crystals. These crystals alter the texture and flavor of food. Deep freezing, on the other hand, quickly chills food. This means that the water within food crystallizes very finely. This reduces cell destruction, meaning that food retains its texture and flavor. But be careful. Once they've been deep frozen, foodstuffs need to be stored at a temperature which is lower or equal to minus 18 Celsius. This temperature must be maintained all the way through the factory until the supermarket freezer. Only this process can guarantee the quality of preserved products. Hence, refrigerated vehicles are needed for transportation of deep frozen food. You may be wondering if this is what is meant by the cold chain. You're right. The cold chain refers to the stages needed in the production of food products, such as conditioning, transportation and storage. Throughout these stages, food needs to be maintained below a certain temperature. Bacterial development can only be avoided by respecting the cold chain. You may be wondering about one last question. Why shouldn't we refreeze things? The answer is linked to the cold chain. When this is broken, this means that the product has been exposed to higher temperatures than it should have been. This break in the chain leads to rapid bacterial development. The shelf life of food is shortened. When food is thawed out, it may be very dangerous health-wise to refreeze it. As soon as food is thawed, certain germs can start to develop. If these germs are ingested, they can cause food poisoning. This is the case with Salmonella, Staphylococcus and Listeria. This can be fatal for people with lowered immune defenses like babies, pregnant women and elderly or sick people. Don't take the risk of refreezing food.